Yo, what's going on guys? It's Techno, your coach of the Carolina Pantherians, and uh, today we are back with another draft analysis video. So we have decided to join two more uh, upload required leagues with the CPC finishing up, um, where we did enjoy uploading very much. I do very much enjoy, obviously, uh, like recording my battles, and then I feel like it helps my performance a lot. Um, but anyways, uh, so we did join two more. Uh, I can't reveal the other one just yet, but I'm super excited for it, and I'm super excited for this too. Uh, the, I the ICBA, we're on Season 2. I wasn't in Season 1, but here we are now. And um, it's run by my good friend, Johnny GB, and it is a Wi-Fi league, which means that we're going to finally go back to having some Sun and Moon content on my channel, um, which is very exciting for me, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the rundown of the league. Uh, we've got some very good opponents. Um... People I haven't played before, people I have played. We've got coaches like Lars, uh, El Cizor from the GBA, coaches like Aberforth, um, two of the most notable in my opinion, and then other coaches such as Deebs, who is an IBL friend, and then Johnny GB, obviously, my friend Dominic. Um, yeah, a lot of very threatening coaches who uh, I'm very excited to play. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get right into what I picked, how the tiers kind of work. So it's the GBA style of draft, not the one from last season where it's all open draft, but the one from the season before and like so on because um, it's it's basically like you you get to pick between like tier one, tier two, two tier threes, a tier four, and a tier five, um, and then a mega or an S tier. We'll get into S tiers later. Um, but then you also get 400 free points. So basically, um, it, it's that style. So with Megas and S tiers, uh, basically there are S tier Pokemon in the ICBA, which means like examples of those would be Aegislash, uh, Speed Boost Blaziken, uh, Darkrai, Tapu Lele, like all these Pokemon that are proven to be like very, very good and pretty much broken in regular uh, draft league format. But they're being accepted in this one because they do have an extra point buff that um, kind of can hinder them in terms of what else you can get on your team. Because if you take one of those Pokemon, you A, you don't get a Mega unless you get like Mega Latios or Mega Metagross. And B, I, I didn't mention like stuff like Greninja too, but like B, um, you also, you lose 50 points from your free draft total. So you only get 350 if you draft an S tier. However, in terms of what I wanted to draft, I was all about like picking a new Pokemon that I've never used before, and that's why I always love these leagues that allow Ubers, because they allow a lot of Pokemon that really don't get seen ever, mainly because they're just too good. Um, and I wanted to have one of those Pokemon, basically. I know I'm kind of cheap, not really though. Uh, but uh, the Pokemon that we did decide to pick, now, it was between two picks. It was uh, Mega Latios and Darkrai. Now, uh, both of them were very promising for my team, or the Pokemon that I wanted to get. However, um, the, the main decisions came down to, uh, I wanted something with a lot of speed, and I've already used Megalodius before, and I enjoyed it a lot, however, I don't want to use it again. So, uh, the Pokemon that we did decide to drop is going to be our Dark Ride. Now, I should probably say these nicknames are based off of my friends, mainly from the Hive. I think I only have like one who's not from the Hive, or but they're they're on the Hive server and stuff. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, just stuff that I thought of off the bat. I'm sorry if I missed anyone. I tried to include everyone, or I just picked the stuff that I thought was going to be the best. So our first Pokemon is going to be our Darkrai, our Emo Jake. Um, now Darkrai, it's proven to be pretty broken in standard play. That's why it's an Uber. Um, that's why it's banned in pretty much every single draft league, except for the ICBA, which is why I wanted to try it out. Um, this thing just gets absolutely incredible moves. Um, it gets like Dark Pulse, Nasty Plot, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, Bolt Beam Coverage, moves like Knock Off, Will-O-Wisp, um, stuff to like help that out. And then Hypnosis, which means that its Bad Dreams ability can be activated. Of course, it did get the nerf this generation in uh, Dark Void only being 50% accurate now. But it's fine. Uh, it was 85% accurate last gen, I'm pretty sure. Um, but either way, if if it was if that was the case, it would probably have Dark Void banned anyways. So like, hey, what can you do? But uh, but yeah. So that's Darkrai. Um, bad dreams. It's nice with hypnosis and stuff. I didn't mention moves like Psychic. Psychic also helps you deal with like fighting types. Um, and then Sludge Bomb helps you deal with those fairy types that want to switch into your dark moves. 
uh, the reason that those moves are so good on this thing is because Dark is very hard to resist. It's a very spammable type, and with 135 base special attack and 125 speed, you're very you're basically just such an offensive powerhouse. It, this thing's a very nice late game sweeper. It's a very nice wall breaker. It's just so nice for so many different things. It's absolutely incredible, and I'm so excited to use it. I slapped uh, Z Crystal on this thing. We had three Pokemon that we could put Z Crystals on. And uh, I thought this would be a very good one to put it on just because of um, its vast move pool and the fact that it's already powerful enough. And if I want to like ensure some KOs, I can run a lot of Z crystals and stuff. Uh, so that's Dark Rye on the team. Very excited to use it. Now, of course, we do lose a couple of points, but uh, that's totally fine uh, because we can build around that and draft around that. Uh, so the next Pokemon I wanted was something that could take the hits that Darkrai basically couldn't. So like close combats and like Mega Horns or anything, Bug Buzzes. I wanted something that could like synergize well with it. Um, not only offensively but defensively too. Um, and I thought that a Pokemon that could do that pretty well is going to be uh, one of the best Pokemon in the format in Pokemon in general. And that's going to be our Clefable. Um, I did name it after my boy. Regulator, who I'm going to talk about more in this video because he did help me a lot with this draft Because um, he is the Los Angeles Clefable, so hey, I, I, I'd explain the last nickname too, but it's self-explanatory. Anyways, um, Clefable is one of the best Pokemon in League format, not because of its incredible stats, which are pretty good by the way, 95 base HP, uh, defense of 73, and then special defense of 90, with 95 special attack are, are pretty good, um, but it's the fact that it gets magic guard, um, which means that a lot of Pokemon can't 2KO it. Fairy typing is an incredible defensive type, pretty much. Um, and then all these moves that it gets. Soft Boiled, uh, Heal Bell, Wish, Flamethrower, Cosmic Power, Stored Power, uh, Moonblast, Calm Mind, just to name a couple. Um, Clefable is one of those Pokemon that everyone's going to have to prep for, because if you don't, it will literally just 6 soul your entire team. Um, which is kind of funny to say, but yeah, we all know how Clefable works. It's just so fat and so powerful. Uh, just such a good Pokemon. Uh, to have on any team. Unaware and Magic Guard come in clutch like every single time. Magic Guard means that like a lot of Pokemon aren't too KOing it. You can really tailor your EVs around Clefable because um, of those impressive like bulk stats. And then that means that like with Stealth Rocks up, people would expect it to kill your Clefable if it was another Pokemon, obviously. But Stealth Rocks don't affect Clefable if you are a Magic Guard, which means that those two KOs still do not happen. So that's why Clefable is just a very good um, wall. Uh, it can be a very nice sweeper too. If you are able to get up like Calm Minds, Cosmic Powers, or just whatever the hell you like want to have with it. But yeah, Clefable, very incredible Pokemon. So the next Pokemon I wanted on my team is something to help me, I guess, pivot around. I, I wanted something that could get off statuses. I wanted something that could basically, like, I don't know. It. I wanted something that could pressure a lot of Pokemon as well as apply a lot of defense. Uh, that's what Clefable does, and it's also something that this next Pokemon does, and we picked Rotom Wash. Now, I named it Chiangy Easy. Um, it's named after an emote in the Hive server, which kind of looks like this. Not really a sort of, <laughs> just the teeth and the mouth and stuff, but yeah. Um, Rotom Wash is a very cool Pokemon. Hydro Pump and Volt Switch are some of the best moves in the game to have on your Rotom Wash. Um, not, Hydro Pump's obviously not one of the best moves in the game. I don't know why I said that, but, um, but with like, Volt Switch, like, Electric and Water Coverage are very hard to resist. Um, you need a Grass type, and then you Volt Switch on out of there, and then you can get into anything. Um, because the rest of this team is very well designed to take on a lot of different Pokemon, or at least to offensively pressure a lot of different Pokemon. Um, also great support moves with, like, Will-O-Wisp, uh, Pain Split, Thunder Wave, um, and then those very nice stats. Uh, HP and Attack are pretty lackluster, but Defense, Special Attack, and Special Defense are all very solid. 107, 105, 107. Um, very nice to have a uh, solid bulk, obviously. And then the speed stat, um, which is 86. It's not too bad, not great either, but it's very nice. Um, Water Electric is very good with Levitate because that means it's only weak to grass moves. And then we can vote around uh, those grass moves it can't take later, but yeah, Rotom. It really walls a lot of really cool, like, it walls a lot of key threats to a lot of different teams. And it's a very good pivot with Volt Switch and stuff, and that's why I wanted it on my team. It's a very good Pokemon. So the next Pokemon we picked, now basically I had to go on a trip halfway through this draft. Um, 
which meant I couldn't pick a lot of these Pokemon. So I had to have my friend Greg um, pick Pokemon for me. And originally, I think I wanted Nidoqueen and Entei. Um, however, both of them got sniped. Um, so Nidoqueen, it's a pretty obvious fix. You can get Nidoking, but Entei, I didn't know what to do with that. So um, we're going to get into that later in the battle. So battle i meant later in the video but yeah so the next pokemon that we did pick is going to be our needle king uh greg did pick this now i'm i'm pretty cool with needle king in the format um I'm, I'm not a huge fan but i'm not like the least of fans i think it's a cool pokemon um of course it could it's a little bit frail not too frail but it's 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 got decent bulk and then attack special attack and speed are obviously what it does best speed not as much but it's a very very powerful wall breaker to help stuff like dark right clean wait late game uh sludge wave bolt beam flamethrower earth power stealth rocks toxic spikes and it can be physical or special just to name a couple of the things it can do with the sheer force ability and life orb nothing really wants to take a hit very well it's one of those pokemon that, should, that really just has no switch ins depending on what your set is and that's another pokemon i wanted on this team dark Rye is another one of those pokemon that does really well with that uh clefable is a pokemon that can beat its counters i'm that's kind of a theme with the team just pokemon that can beat down like everything <laughs> i don't know um but yeah, Needle King is a very, very good Pokemon, um, like offensively. I think in terms of like, it's a very good wall breaker, not a sweeper or anything, but stuff to like come in and then just nuke something. That's what Needle King does. And that's what I'm very excited for. I named it Elpro. I was going to name it something else, um, but uh, after my friend Ipro, but he didn't want it to be that. So uh, you guys probably know what it is if you know anything about like, I don't know people in the hive but yeah uh so that's going to be needle king um and very good pokemon for my team so the next pokemon we got i decided i just wanted to get this pokemon out of the way it was on my team later um on my draft plan so we decided to draft decidueye i named it ejaculator after my friend uh jack o uh who's also in the hive and decidueye is another very good pokemon very versatile versatility is also another thing i want in this team uh, Rotom Watch isn't too versatile, but everything else on this team can be very versatile in terms of what they do. Because um, this thing, it's a very nice setup Pokemon, very nice pivot. Um, I got a couple of really good pivots on this team. Um, and then this thing is also another Pokemon that can beat down a lot of different things with the attack Spirit Shackle, which like locks Pokemon in and then you can set up on them, Spirit Shackle them again, and then you can like Baton Pass or whatever you want to do. Um, this thing gets some really nice support moves like Defog, uh, gets Roost for itself, gets Baton Pass like I said, U-Turn, um, and then it gets Sword Stance and Nasty Plop, so you can pass either of those into one of your, one of your Pokemons. I'm pretty sure that that's not banned, if it is I'll check, I'm actually going to check like right after this. It's got some pretty nice stats too, um, Attack, Special Attack, and Special Defense really stand out um, as just feeling really nice, but this thing can wall a lot of key threats with the Grass and Ghost typing. Uh, very, very solid Pokemon, and I'm super excited to have it on my team. Um, it's it's always been kind of looked over uh, by a lot of people, but it's it's very good. So the next Pokemon we picked is going to be a Pokemon I didn't really want to get, but hey, it's whatever. Um, I decided to pick up Flygon. Now, I named it Cringe Vader after Cringe Vader, obviously, my friend Narth Vader. Um, but yeah, uh, Flygon is an interesting Pokemon. It's often regarded as one of the worst Dragon types. However, that doesn't make it that bad. Um, this generation, it did get a boof. Boof. It got a buff. <laughs> Not a boof. Um, anyways, it got a buff, and it got a Dragon Dance, which is very helpful for it. Z-moves also help it a lot. As you guys can see, I do have the Z-Crystal on my Flygon. Uh, it's got some pretty balanced stats across the board. Attack and speed are okay, and then everything else is also mediocre, but... Hey, Flygon gets really nice like moves to help deal with that. Um, so Outrage, Earthquake are very good moves on this thing. Fire Blast to deal with stuff like Skarmory if that comes in or anything. Um, gets Defog and Roost. Uh, U-Turn, very nice support move. Fire Punch, as well as Dragon Ground Typing. So it's another Ground Type on my team, which, you know, it's fine. I'll take that. Um, Needle King helps me not just lose to Hidden Power Ice, I guess. Not really. Uh, it, it would be better if I was Needle Queen. Um... When I say that, I mean with stuff like fast electrics. Um, but yeah, that's Flygon on the team. It's a cool Pokemon. Um, I'm kind of excited to use it. It's it's all right. Um, that's that's all people really say about Flygon. It's just all right. Um, it's outclassed by a lot of different things, but it's a very nice lower tier pick uh, to get on your team. So 
The next Pokemon I had is going to be my Entei replacement. Now, Entei is pretty hard to replace because of stuff like Extreme Speed with, um, with stuff like Extreme Speed, um, coming off that huge, powerful Entei is very, very hard to replace, obviously. Uh, Sacred Fire is a very, very solid move that can't really be uh, outshined. Um, and I, I think at this point in the draft, Arcanine was already taken, so I decided to take the next best physical fire type, and that's going to be Darmanitan. Now, I named it Mustafi after my friend Nada Please, because those eyebrows and his eyebrows are just probably some of the best, biggest eyebrows I have ever seen in my life. Hot damn! <laughs> Anyways, that aside, uh, Darmanitan, it's very one-dimensional, but it's very solid and very good at what it does. Um... And basically what it does is it clicks Flare Blitz and U-Turn. Um, that's all I really have to quick click with Darmanitan. And then um, everything else just does... It, it's it's self-explanatory because Darmanitan has... Oh, sorry, you saw my arrow. Darmanitan has 140 attack, which is insane. But when you couple that with Sheer Force Flare Blitz, that's absolutely incredible. Even Scarf Darmanitan hits like a truck. Um, its speed is 95, so it's it's got a pretty good speed tier. Um, not too... Not too good, not too bad. Um, it's it doesn't have speed base 100, which is unfortunate. Uh, that would make it a lot better, obviously, but uh, it still outspeeds a lot of different Pokemon. So that's really cool for with Darmanitan. Uh, and yeah, this thing just hits like such a truck. It's a great wall breaker. Something so that my other sweepers can possibly come in late game and just do their thing. Um, and yeah, I really like Darmanitan on this team. I think it's a very cool Pokemon. Uh, it's obviously a pretty strictly offensive Pokemon based on those defensive stats, uh, but it does offense very well. So the next Pokemon I have um, is kind of based off of a dare and also based off of a love I have for this Pokemon. So uh, this is Durant. And um, Durant, basically, I made a bet with my friend Narc Vader, who is our Flygon, that if I didn't get eight... Um, Eight kills with Durant this season. I'd have to do something embarrassing on my YouTube channel, but I am confident that Durant will get eight kills this season because Durant is incredible. I had it in IBL season two, and it did so much work. We made the finals in that league, and it was pretty much entirely due to due to Durant, uh, just the work it put in every playoff game, even regular season games. Durant's just such a great Pokemon. I had it in the first GLT two where we made semifinals, um, and yeah, I love Durant. Um, in the be of course, the reason a lot of people hate Durant is one, because of its pitiful special defense stat, which means any HP fire or any even like special move will just bop you. And two, um, with Hustle, that's the way it gets powerful, and then it misses its attacks. Um, which, it sucks, um, but hopefully, we're gonna pray that we don't miss our attacks this season. Especially if we run moves like Home Claws this season to help us with our accuracy. That should work a little bit. Uh, it'll work a decent amount. Uh, moves like X Scissor, Thunder Fang, Iron Head, Superpower Rock Slide, um, Baton Pass, Agility Crunch, so many different utility moves and offensive moves this thing gets. And it hits like a truck. 109 base attack with the Hustle ability is absolutely ridiculous. Nothing really wants to take the hits. Uh, it's also got a very nice speed of 109, so you outspeed stuff like. Uh, the sake, the Swords of Justice, I think that's what they're called. You know, Cabalion, Keldeo, uh, Terrakion, Verizion. Um, you also have speed stuff like Infernape, even though they can probably hit you with like a vacuum wave and do a lot of damage to you. But either way, uh, Durant is a very nice like speed Pokemon. If it had a little bit more speed, it would be a lot more viable, but hey. Uh, we named it Lejong Games after my friend Lejong because he also loves Durant like just as much as I do. And um, we have the Z-Crystal on this thing. So it's our final Z-Crystal user of the team, so we have Darkrai, Flygon, and Durant with the Z-Crystal. So yeah, excited to see what Durant can do this season, and hopefully it'll get more than 8 kills, or 8 kills at least. So the next Pokemon that we do have is going to be our Hariyama. Now I wanted, at this point in the draft, the draft is just kind of like, I have the stuff I want, and now I just want to kind of get supported Pokemon. Uh, so I picked stuff like Hariyama. Hariyama is a very cool Pokemon, uh, just a really nice offense Pokemon. The key of this team is going to be to have a lot of wall breakers and then sweep with just whatever I want to sweep with. Um, it's a very offensive team, and I think it's going to do offense very well. Um, I'm sorry that you guys can see that again. Yeah, um, but yeah, I named it Papa Max after my friend Max. Um, I don't know, it just kind of popped in my head. <laughs> popped. Uh, man, I'm stupid. Anyways, we've got Guts, Sheer Force, and Thick Fat as its abilities, which are very good. 
And then it's got that massive HP and attack stat, which are very, very good on this thing. Uh, the HP stat helps make up for its pretty lackluster defensive stats, um, and it can take a lot of hits and fire off very hard back. Um, close combat, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Knock Off, Poison Jab, Bullet Punch, and Fake Out are just some of the moves that this, that this thing gets, and um, it's very hard to switch into those moves. Uh, this thing, it's one of those Pokemon that can probably get, like, one kill per game at least if you play it right and uh, hopefully we are going to play it right that's that's the goal obviously uh it's a fighting type so fighting spam very very good with all those other moves that it gets and i'm excited to use it never really used it before and it's time to see if we can use it well so the next pokemon that we did draft is going to be crustal i named it after my good pal mayo um with sturdy shell armor weak armor by the way i should probably mention it was towards the time where um needle king and decidui were drafted that greg uh, stopped helping me draft and then we just kind of took it from there um, which <laughs> probably shows because I'm a lot worse at drafting than Greg is um, but anyways uh, Crustle is a cool Pokemon I drafted it mainly for spikes and stealth rocks but it does other things really well like uh, it can shell smash up pretty well um, and it can be a pretty surprise threat to a lot of different teams and I like it a lot this generation mainly because of the super citrus berries like I Papa Figgy, uh, all that stuff, they help this thing uh, take attacks a lot better. Like if you knock it down to its sturdy and then you want to pick it off with like an extreme speed from a Dragonite or a quick attack from whatever, you're not going to do that because it does resist and then you shell smash up and then get your Iapop a barrier or whatever and then you get all that HP back. And yeah, this thing's very good. Um, I wouldn't say very good actually, but it was a nice low tier pick um, and I'm excited to use it this um, season. So, the last Pokemon that we do have on our team is going to be our Komala. Now, I've never been a huge fan of Komala, however, I wanted to try it. I thought everything deserves a try, and this this little guy is not getting a lot of love right now. Uh, it's, I believe, in PU in terms of Smogon tiers, um, and um, I want to see if I can use it well. So, we named it a, sleep, a Sleeper after another high Vimo and after my good friend Azar. Um, its ability Comatose is very nice uh, because you can't get status and it's a nice switch in if anything else wants to get status like say my Darmanitan or my um, Darkrai are going to get Thunder Waved then I can go into my Kamala and nothing can happen um, which is cool um, and it gets moves like Rapid Spin, Wish, Earthquake, Return obviously for its stabs um, 115 base attack and the special defense of 95 are both very good um unfortunately it just doesn't take the hits it needs to but kamala can still be a pretty good pokemon um in this team we get sucker punch and earthquake which is also really cool on kamala so kamala it's uh, it's overall like a, it's an all right pokemon not great at all but hey we're gonna see if it can do anything well so uh that's going to be our team for this season i really like it even though it doesn't look the best probably um, I think Pokemon like Darkrai can come through quite a bit. Uh, we've got a pretty good amount of hazard setters. Um, we've got three, which is, yeah, it, it could be better, but hey, it's fine. And then we've got a lot of really good pivots like Decidueye and Rotom. Uh, even Flygon can help with that. Um, Kamala helps. And then Darkrai, obviously just such a great Pokemon overall. Hopefully it'll carry the team. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty solid team. I like it. Uh, maybe you guys won't like it. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, huge shoutouts to Greg, like I said for helping me with the team when I was gone. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. And I will see you guys next time with my week one battle. Let's see ya.